Welcome back. Time to hit to run and shoot. And Carlin joining us now live on the telephone, friend of the program, former Jet Antonio Cromarty. Antonio, I love the Jets hiring Todd Bowles. You played for Bowles in Arizona. You thrived under him this past year. What do Jets fans need to know about his style? What about him is going to make him successful with the Jets? I mean, you know, honestly, just his aggressive style, you know, on defense. He has an aggressive nature to, uh, you know, on the defense side of the ball, blitz. You know, he's on, he wants to apply the pressure to the quarterback. And uh, one of the things that impressed me the most about Coach Bowles is how smart he is. You know, I think to me, he's probably the smartest coach, if I, coach that I've been around uh, from a standpoint of understanding uh, what his players are good at and what their players are not. Uh, you know, understanding their limits. And also not just understanding their limits, but understanding the offenses and schemes and uh, understanding how to apply pressure throughout, you know, throughout the game. And, uh, you know, it's just all about the way that he comes about it. He's a fiery guy uh, with us when he's in the locker room. And I know a lot of people probably don't get that from him, uh, you know, just talking to him in the media. But uh, the guy that, that I see every single that I've seen every single day this past year, you know, is a fiery guy. Uh, and knows what he wants and wants to get how, how he wants it done. So, uh, you know, I can see him definitely coming into uh, New York and making uh, making some noise uh, with his first year. Antonio, you know what it's like to play in this town. It's not an easy place to coach either. So how do you think he will handle the pressure that comes along with New York? You know, honestly, I don't think Coach Bowles is really worried about any pressure from the outside at all. Uh, as you guys just see how, how he is and how he talks, um, you know, throughout throughout you know throughout the offseason and going into uh, the season, uh, he's a guy that's very uh, that understands what, what what he needs to try to do as a coach and get his players going the way that he needs to. And he's a guy that he's a guy that's gonna make sure everything is in the end if there's anything going on, stay in house. Antonio, you told me last offseason you wanted to return to the Jets. Are you disappointed that John Idzik let you walk? You no, know, at first I was. Uh, you know, in the beginning it was when the, the whole free agency, you know, I walked when that release um, came about. But uh, at the end of the day, it worked out the best for me. Um, you know, being able to come out here in Arizona, uh, revive my career and, and just get things going under Coach Todd Bowles and Coach Aaron and been around a great group of guys here, uh, you know, especially young guys. So uh, it just, you know, for me, it just, I looked at it as everything is a business and you got to keep moving, uh, go out and play as well as you can. Okay, Antonio, with that in mind, what about following Todd Bowles back to New York? Would you be interested in a reunion with the Jets this coming year? Oh, that's not that's really not up to me, to be honest, which huh. is up to the person it's up to the personnel people if that want if, if if they want me back there or not. Um, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, right now I'm still I was on call into it to otherwise. You know, uh, I understand I will be uh, I'm sure the free agent this year. But uh until I'm told otherwise or I'm not offered a contract here, then uh, I don't know. You know, like I said, I'm always keeping my doors open. Uh, and I'm always making sure I'm communicating with my wife and with my family to make sure that whatever decision that I make is not only best for me, but it's best for them also because it's, uh, it takes a hardship on them if I'm uh, moving around a lot. So, uh, you know, it's just important just making sure that the decision that, uh, that I make is also including my family and everything else. Antonio, your former coach, Rex Ryan, introduced yesterday as the new head coach of the Buffalo Bills. How do you think Rex is going to fare in Buffalo? You know, honestly, uh, I think he's going to fare very well up in Buffalo. Uh, and the reason why I say that, if you look at his, the defense and what that defense was uh, a year ago, um, you know, under Patton and also over this past year with Jim, uh, Jim Swartz, uh, you know, I just think, you know, that defense is going to thrive even more with him. And uh, it's not like he doesn't have weapons on the offensive side of the ball either. Um, you know, I, and to me, that's something that he was uh, missing in New York, the offensive weapons. On the outside, you know, with Teddy Watkins and those young, and the young, and the young receivers there. And also with the running game, you know, you got Fred Jackson and T.J. Spiller. That's there also. Everyone wants to talk about E.J. Manuel or about the quarterback, you know, and all the up, uproar with that. But I think E.J. can 
uh, thrive in uh, the great Roman offense uh, and the kind of uh, offense he's running. You know, Antonio, it's interesting. You've got a unique perspective on this because you've played for both guys. So how would you compare Rex to Coach Bowles? What's similar, what's different about their coaching styles, their personalities? No, honestly, this really, the only comparison is their defense. Uh, you know, personality is totally different. Uh, but, uh, you know, the defensive scheme, that's the only thing to me that's similar. Every, every guy is different that you play around. Uh, you know, they run just a similar uh, defensive scheme. You want to get to the quarterback, put the corners back on the island, and let those guys do their things, let the front seven go out to the quarterback. You know, I think that's very similar to what Rex would love to do. Uh, when he has the opportunity, and now he really does have the opportunity with the pass rush that he has up front uh, up in Buffalo. Um, you know, and just thinking about it, you know, just Todd is, you know, he's a fire guy with us, but, you know, he's different from what you, what you guys may see from him. And, uh, you know, that's what you got to respect about him. He's a guy that's going to make sure that uh, he has an open-door policy and understand that he, that he wants his players to be open about everything. Uh, it's something that, they don't like that's going on with the defense or they feel like they can't do a certain thing there. You know, they're always willing to come in and just, hey, come talk to me and we can and we can you know, get things to where we need to go before we can get everything going in the right direction.